Hi guys, so over the last few years we've uh, often uh, gone out car hunting in some of the industrial zones in the UAE and some of the used car places and often unearthed some quite incredible gems. So uh, I had a bit of free time today and I've got a press car with a full tank of fuel so uh, let's go do that. I'm just on the other side of uh, Alawir. This is the less posh, the even less uh, salubrious side of uh, Alawir. And I've just spotted some interesting cars behind me so uh, I'm just going to have a little walk around. It's a 560 SEL and I'm sure these S-Classes are now definitely coming back into vogue. If you can find good ones that is, but what do you reckon to this 280 SE? Wow, what's that a late 70s model? Reasonably clean inside. How much is that? 32,000. 32, Imported from? Japan. Japan. Thank you. There you go, 32,000, that's not bad. Some more S-Classes over there. Let's have a look around. So this particular one, G JP Motors, if you can see in the back, 133. That's always a good one to come through. Um, always find interesting stuff here. Look at these, load of old Suzuki Jeeps. And those, those are up for a laugh, aren't they? You could almost like a little uh, Suzuki Jimny uh, championship thing going on here. Look at this. Buy a whole load of them and just do like a one make off-road race series. Skyline. Dual overhead, uh, over, dual overhead camshaft turbo RS. For real? Skyline Saloon. Oh yeah, look at it. Oh, check it out. When that was so cool. Intercooler. Automatic. Skyline Excel. That one's a, that one's a, a Mitsubishi Jeep. Check that out. It's got Mitsubishi logo on it and it's got a Jeep logo on it. Seriously. So there's Jeep right there. Quite basic. Got all the kit. Well, <laughs> that's about as basic as you get. Rugged, give you that much. Not so uh, basic. Right next to it is a Rolls Royce. Is it Rolls Royce? No, it's a Bentley. Sorry, Bel it's a Bentley Mulsanne. Got that wrong. So do I have to look at the grill first? That's a Bentley Mulsanne. Oh yeah, there you go, Bentley Mulsanne. That's an elegant creature, isn't it? Still an elegant thing. That needs a bit of a clean. I'll be fine. The Chrysler Cordoba. Next to that, a uh, 968, I think. Yeah, 968. Automatic. Oh, why is it an automatic? It's a little good looking otherwise. Not too bad. Interesting stuff in here, always. Check it out. Oh, that is actually, that is actually really clean. That's actually really clean. Right next to a very nice green Cressida. If I do like this, that's very clean inside. It's not too bad, needs a little bit of a clean up. That'll be all right, that. That's not too bad. This Cressida Grande Mark II, that's really cool. Oh, there's a Z3 here, there's an Alpha Spider. Needs a new top, that's for sure. That's for a, just just for a start. Needs a new top. Another Z3, oh, three Z3s actually. A Porsche 944 with a uh, Suzuki sitting on top of it, quite literally. Oh dear. <laughs> but this one is an automatic as well. I've seen better days, that's for sure. That one. And uh, yeah, the cars are really packed in here, as you can see. What is this? What is this? What is this car? It's a crown. This is a crown, really? Wow. Interior's gone, shredded completely. Column shifter. Whoa. Wow. That's got a smell of an old car in it. That's for sure. Is 
it is Tour de Crown. Check it out. Next to a BMW there, town car. I do like this Cressida though. That green is really nice. I mean, give that a polish. That will really come out, that one. Needs a bit of uh, love for the interior, that's for sure. Automatic. You can see it. It's not too bad, actually. Dashboard is cracked, as you'd expect, but they were cracked back in the day. Interior definitely needs a bit of work, but I bet it still runs. Japanese spec, I suppose, because of the fender-mounted uh, mirrors. And what is that? It's a Datsun. It's a Bluebird. That's an old Bluebird. Check it out. Wow. That's an extraordinary little thing. That looks like a lot of fun, actually. Bodywork doesn't look too bad. Honestly, the bodywork doesn't look too bad. That's in Bluebird. Wow, check it out. I wonder if, I could, wonder if it's open. They always are. It's actually, even the interior is not too bad at all. It's better than the Cressida next to it. Wow, look at that. Call a mounted shifter. That's quite a nice little thing, that. That's pretty cool. Oh, Silver Shadow. Shagged rear tire. It's like it's been doing burnouts forever. These do do burnouts, actually, as I will confess, having driven one back in the 80s in Jeddah, they actually do do burnouts. The thinnest steering wheel ever. Tightly packed against... Uh, was that? Is that another crown? Is that another this? Another Toyota crown, isn't it? Wow. What do you reckon? Which one is more prestigious? Even in this sorry state, the Silver Shadow is. More Rolls Royces here. What's that one over there? Isn't that a Datsun as well? I think this is a Datsun. Hi, Datsun? Skyline Nissan. Ah, Skyline Nissan. So. That's the Bluebird, yeah. But this is also a Datsun. Skyline. No, no, but then it was called Datsun. At that time it was Datsun. There you go, Datsun. Yeah, those, those are all Datsun Skylines over there. A load of old ones. Oh, is that little Honda still here? Oh, you still have the the Honda still here? You had that before? Long time you had that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, this one you had long time. Yeah. The little Honda still here. How much you want for this? Fourteen thousand, yeah. Does it start? Yes, car is working. This car is working. Check it out. The car is actually working. This is somebody needs to get this. Somebody really needs to rescue this little car. Let me just show you around it. That is the precursor of little Hondas. This is the Honda Life. What's that? Like an N six hundred or something like that? I think. That's so cute. That's so adorable. Somebody really needs to rescue this car. Locked it appears. Wow, it's a valuable thing, isn't it? You can see inside it. No, it's still locked, yeah. Don't know if you can make that out, but it's not too bad. Needs a bit of a cleanup. Yeah, that's been at least like one year, I think, it's been there. I think one year ago I saw this here. I'm not sure, maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I saw that a while back. That's still there. Definitely needs to be. Somebody needs to come and rescue that car. 14,000 dirhams, come on. That's rude not to. That's in 280Z there. Loads of S classes. But where are the SECs? We'd love to have an SEC. There's pigeons there. Another 280ZX there. And is that, uh, what is that? Continental? Oh, there go the birds. Well, I've upset all the birds now. Well, they're Continentals rather nice. Yeah, Mark III. Wow, that's pretty cool. So there you go. And always come and check out this place, JP Motors. Really, really cool. Just found some more old deers parked around the back, so I'll just quickly walk you through them. That one's a bit rusty. The other one over there, the one I showed you earlier, uh, that was in better condition, I reckon. He wants 45 for that. He reckons it's a 65 model. And by the way, the blue, the little blue bluebird that we saw there, 28,000 for that. But uh, but that Honda, somebody's got to buy that for 14. So yeah, that's a that is that is yeah, that's really bad rust on that one. That's for parts, I reckon. 
Another Cressida. We got Beetle, we got little Herbie here. The bodywork on these always appear not to be too bad, right? Because that actually looks really good. God knows. It does look really good. Down to the wheels and everything. It's got a load of uh, tools inside. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It might be a good thing. It means that maybe it's running manual. But I tell you what, that looks all right. Looks like it could be worked on and uh, wouldn't be too bad. Another little, uh, is that another bluebird there? So these little bluebirds, there's a couple of them here, adorable little things. Right hand drive, of course, classic status though. I think they get in there, definitely. But yeah, that could be a bit of fun. Imagine there's a sleeper. Imagine if you do one of those up. Woohoo! That would be amazing. Look at this. Oh, not, not, the, not the Z3, not the crown behind. This. These cars were so cool at one time. Toyota Serra with the gullwing doors. Yeah. Gullwing. I wonder if it's unlocked. I bet it's not. Let me just see. Yeah, it's locked. But look at, look at, I mean, you're going to heat up in this car. That is just, that's a greenhouse right there. Front and oh, rear seats, rear seats as well. Not too bad. Get a couple of kids in there, but everything will cook. Only buy that if you've got shade. Quite popular, quite popular back in the day. Simple, cheap, cheap to run, cheap to own. Not too rapid, but cool looking with those amazing gullwing doors. A crown, more sort of the crown that I remember. And that's a really nice one back there, actually. That is a really nice one. I'll tell you why I think it's a really nice one, because A, Look at the bodywork, it's completely straight, really good condition. Really nice actually. And um, inside, and it's a manual. Wow, it's a manual. But check it here, look, there's still some plastic covering on the doors, on the door panels. The seats are actually in pretty good condition. That's really nice. Wow, somebody should get that. Oh, Grand Wagoneer. A Grand Wagoneer, V8, check it out. Might need a bit of work. There's a lot, another little Herbie just hiding behind there, and a little beetle there. You know, again, potty work doesn't look too bad. They always like they hide all kinds of issues, but they always look all right, don't they? And a good old E30, E33 series. I've already checked this automatic. Sorry. Um, which one is it? 325. Like I used to have a 325. I love that 325. Another look at the Grand Wagon here for you. Looking a bit crusty. Looking very crusty. But, you know, it's a grand wagon here. And um, this might be worth picking up actually, because, you know, with the, uh, with the likelihood that it'll, the nameplate will come back, this could definitely be something that could be a little bit of a project to work on. That's a Voxy of some kind. Old Mustang and old Jeep, another crown back there, quite a few crowns, a little mini, little red mini there. Golf GTI 16 valve Mark II. So these were the business. The 16. You had to have the 16. You had the GTI, and it wasn't the 16 valve. You, 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 you were a wimp. You had to have the 16 valve. That was the 16 valve right there. So um, cute little mini. Need a bit of work as they always do. That is a proper GTI, that's for sure. There you go. So. Um, Cadillac there, there's also another Red Skyline and a sad looking Boxster out there as well. Just give you a glimpse of that. Um, PT Cruiser. I'm a fan of the PT Cruiser. I know a lot of people aren't, but I like these. I like PT Cruisers. There you go. There's the Boxster. Living on the edge. Automatic, unfortunately. Another roll. And a grand old dame of a Mercedes there. I just noticed an RX-8 here. Um, just next to what is it global global motors i have some more interesting names for you let me try and zoom in if i can steerwell auto and muslim in south motors well it made me laugh so i abandoned uh, alawir because although alawir seems to have quadrupled in size it's massive now but 99.9 uh, .9 of it is just you know bread and butter stuff you know uh, Nissan Patrols, white Toyota Camrys. So I've come over here to Sharjah to see if I can find anything here. But even here, it's the same sort of deal, apart from like, you know, old ambulances behind there, like behind, you can see over there, Cannonball Run, anyone? That could be fun, couldn't it? But uh, generally, it's all, you know, this sort of stuff. Ordinary cars, miles and miles and miles of cars. There's a nice uh, Camaro ZL1 right at the top there, a black one. But other than that, 
I'll just have a quick drive around and see if I can find something. Nice old Cadillac uh, there, and uh, here's one that's obviously caught my eye. An orange Lotus Aurora. That looks funky. Gorgeous. But again, uh, this Charger place, which I'm checking out now, I mean, if you can see behind the Emirates auction place there, that I came particularly to check that place out because one time I found an incredible array of cars there. But at the moment now, it's again, it's just pretty much 99% bread and butter sort of cars, as you can see, regular stuff. At the top here, there's a nice lineup of uh, muscle cars, um, which I'll just slow down for here. Um, but there you go, a whole load of Mustangs. Uh, and the odd Challenger and the odd Camaro and even a Maserati. Oh, I like this. Check that out. Murdered out. Black SRT. That's my jam. I want that right there. But anyway. So, um, yeah, I think onwards. I think onwards. So even this horrible, gruesome place that uh, in Najman that uh, always used to find stuff stuff there. Not, uh, not seeing too much. Uh, although, interesting. Um, I'll have a quick look around. But uh, I wonder where all the cool old cars have gone. It could mean one of two things. Either uh, they've all been got rid of, or uh, all the old stuff has been got rid of, or the videos that we put out re uh, previously, the year, a year ago and a couple of years before that, um, I think have actually had an impact. I think people have come and uh, taken those things away. Anyway, let's see what I can find here. It used to be an old uh, broken up Jaguar and some Buicks, some classic old Buicks way over there, which I can't find anymore. Lots of heavy machinery now, buses and trucks and these uh, lifters and things. This is interesting. An old 280Z uh, here. Uh, it looks in pretty bad shape, but it, it still looks like it could be recovered. It looks like it could be saved. It's a manual. And um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too far gone. Yeah, it'll need a bit of love, but it's, it's all right. It's not too bad, actually. I think uh, that could be worked on. This... Um, I think has been in the wars so uh you know unless you just want to drive it like that because it looks cool i like the little gear knob check out the gear knob on this check out this guy <laughs> that is bonkers ah oh, no but that's had it though that's a shame an old uh, fox body mustang over there mondeo estate how did that get there bmw x5 cherokee caprice this is interesting have a look at this it's an old Chevy truck. I think that's all right, you know. I think that's, um, that's probably waiting to have some work done on it. I don't think that's scrapped. Nothing wrong with that one, I can see. Probably uh, here for a bit of restoration, a bit of work, maybe. And due to go back on sale. Not bad. Run and drive, it says on that little sticker. So I guess it does run. I guess if that's what that means. Lee's used cars. There's a 1955 Chevrolet S truck. Runs and drives, I guess. Check it out. There you go. Not bad. There's usually some interesting stuff around the uh, Red Line workshop. So let's see what we have here. And we'll start off with this Mazda. Check that out. That's a bit of a classic. To me, that uh, grew up uh, in the 80s in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia uh those were so common they were like you know if you didn't if you couldn't have a mercedes e-class you'd have a mazda 99 and then there were different versions of this there was like a sports version as well so i wonder if because i think with the uh, vinyl roof on this one i'm wondering if that was the regular saloon oh god it's terrible around here i feel like i'm gonna catch something just walking around it's terrible so what we got here uh charger plated so local car so i think it's the sport i'm not sure can't remember but uh yep that's seen better days that's for sure these used to be classy manual i can tell you you can't see in there but i can see just about that's a manual gearbox so yeah something of a legend those things and um oh look at that mitsubishi pajero evolution okay that's a that's a road going rally car ready to go isn't it yep that's pretty cool abu dhabi plated that looks all right Bit of a clean up, should be fine. Oh, this old thing is still there. I think I'm pretty sure this was here last time I was here. And this is another one. But yeah, I think that's still there. Well, I know it's still there, I can see it. But 
Oh, is there, what does it say on here? This is Cyclone and Typhoon. It's just, oh, just some interesting bits of detail. Lots of parts in there. Maybe it's being worked on, but if it's the same one, then it's been here like a year, this Cyclone. Export plated charger. It looks all right, you know, it looks pretty clean. What is this thing here? Gosh, I've got to be careful where I, where I step. But um, that looks all right, actually. Might need a bit of work, a bit of a clean up, but it looks all right. I wonder if it's the same one we saw a year ago. It's still here. Oh, look at this, an old RX-7. Oh, in a real bit of a state, though. I'll tell you that much. Smashed up at the back. No, no fender at the front. God, what a lovely machine these were. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's not in a good shape at all. I think parts only, if there's a, if there's a wankle in there. Wankle! Can I open it? Oh, no, can't even open the bonnet. It's stuck. I think the engine is in there, though. I think the engine is in there. So, um, we can cross the road without dying. Yeah, I think that Typhoon was there as well. These cars have been here, I think, a year. The Nova, I'm sure this has been here last time. I'm sure this was still here last time that we were here. So the Nova, this is a great car. And it looks, the, look at the wheels on this. It looks the business, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, manual. Oh, that is awesome. I think that's a five-speed. Look at the bonnet. Not that as the, this one is not as far gone as the other one. Although the rubber seals have definitely gone. GMC truck there with the, Diamonds in the logo. Chevy Lumina SS there. Take another look at the Nova. That's nice. That's nice. That's all right. Come on. Why isn't that back on the road? Why has that been sitting here the whole time? Another look at the Mazda. It's in a bit of a sorry state, that one. Cherokee and the Typhoon. That's had a bit of a ding at the back, actually. Typhoon, I'm pretty sure that was there before. So, um... Yeah, I think my pick of the uh, of the cars here is uh, is a little cyclone over there. Um, okay, onwards then. Hang on, let me just show you this Chevy, this old Chevy truck. These two Chevy trucks, quickly. That's nice. And that one, C10. Just got stopped in my tracks when I saw this. That's the Volvo 200 series coupe. I wonder if that is the very rare Batoni edition factory uh, chopped, topped. See, the roof has been lowered. These are incredible. Of course, the grill is not there, the front of the grill, which is a very bold, um, kind of blunt, ferocious looking uh, flat front on it with, the, with, I think, the big headlights on it and the big grill. That's gone missing. This looks like it's being worked on because it's got some. Uh, I think the body is being worked on here. But or, or was being worked on, maybe they've given up on it, but it's got the vinyl roof, but I mean, it needs quite a bit of work, but these are, these are special machines. And they look the absolute business. It's got something of an interior in there. Something of an interior is in there. It is an automatic. Got the rear seats. These are so cool. These were so cool back in the day. Wow, look at that. Imagine finding one of those here was not expecting that. Gosh, I do hope this is being restored. I hope somebody's working on this. Because um, if that is an original Bertone one, that's quite special. Also a Jag V12, double six. Daimler, actually. Look what I've just spotted. The Rolls-Royce Patrol. I remember seeing, I, thought, I wonder if this is the same one. I remember seeing it meets a few years back. It used to be the thing, really, to see uh, this, this one going around. Um, yeah, it's looking a bit sorry now. I'll tell you that much. Hasn't got the quality that Rolls Royce would have had. But uh, there it is. I wondered what had happened to it. There it is. So, having not really found the gems that I thought I might at the uh, old Ajman industrial area, the, the terrible wasteland of uh, automotive debris, um, I thought, well, you know, Ajman Karsuk isn't that far away. So I thought, let me wander down here. And uh, check this out. But actually, that's all I've seen so far. And I'm pretty sure that was there last time. So honestly speaking, I think this isn't going to be great either. But let me just have a quick drive around. Oh, 
Oh, just spotted this. Check this out. Look at that. It says it's a Chrysler Windsor. What's that? 40s? Probably a 40s car. Not really up on my 40s cars, but that just looks magnificent though, doesn't it? Looks in a bit of a sad state, admittedly, here and now. And oh, look at those wheel hubs with the red Chrysler on them. That's so cool. See that? It's brilliant. But, um, yeah, I don't know if that's actually for sale or it's abandoned. But the dealer that it's standing next to appears to have been abandoned. So, um, yeah, gosh, I wonder if it's open. Oh, it is open. Wow. Oh, it still smells Chryslery. Look at the instrument panel. That's fantastic. Little bits in the back, but oh, look at the space in here. Wow, what a gorgeous thing. Just had to stop again because look at this. If you're into your old Landys, your old Land Rovers, Defenders and Series 110s and all the rest of it, this is the place to come. Check this out. Wow. It actually looks quite cool. I like that's how that's done. Oh, look at the paintwork. It's all sparkly. The blue and black. It's quite fetching, actually. The interior is quite nice. I like that with the spare wheel there. Black and white. Nice fetching shade of green. These are actually really nicely presented. Not only nice old landies, but really nicely done. And there is an absolute classic. Wow, look at that one. Gosh. And again, all cleaned up and painted and all the rest of it. Wow. That's fantastic. Hello there. Yeah. How you doing? Fantastic. What year is this? Do you know? 1964. 1964? Yes, sir. Original? Is it for sale? Yes, sir. How much? 80,000. 80,000? Yes, sir. 80,000. Yes, cool. And it runs? Which one? It's running. It's fine? Yeah, yeah. That's actually really gorgeous. That is a really nice car. It's really pretty. It's probably not 100% accurately restored, but it's quite nice though. I wonder if you can make this out. There's the interior for you. Yeah, you can see it's been modernized a little bit. It's nicely done. The window definitely still comes down. There you go, check this out. 80,000 dirhams. That is really nice. And so just before we leave here, I'll just show you the others that they've got. Oh, let me just show you where we are. Okay, Autoline, that's the number, that's the place. Ajman Karsuk, if you're interested, this is the place where they are. And uh, oh, I like that blue on that one. That's really nice. Thank you. And there you go. Oh, that's good. The black and the green. I feel like this. I like the color schemes on these. These are great. Look, they've chosen themselves or what? Oh, nice. Very nicely presented, I've got to say. And even as I was about to head off, another one's arrived. Look at that. It also looks like a 60s one. God, this is a place to come if you want an old Land Rover. Whoa. Check this place out. Al Andalus for cars. Again, in the Ajman Karsuk. There's a number if you want it. And the reason I'm showing you that is not necessarily for this Excalibur. Oh, gazelle. It's a gazelle. Kit cars, aren't they? These. What are they built on? Who can tell me? Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a laugh, isn't it? I mean, you could have a bit of fun with that, couldn't you, really, just for a laugh? You know, don't necessarily have to look after it or anything. It's automatic and everything, so probably easy to drive and run and maintain. But, um, you know, just pretend you're driving a, an authentic classic. Yeah, could be a laugh. But the reason I stopped was because I noticed this. XJS V12 convertible. I like the flying buttresses, I've got to say, although I like the idea of a convertible, I've got to say that I want to do it Simon Templar style. So for me, I'd have to be a white one with the flying buttresses. That's what I would need. But having said that, that's pretty. I think these are coming into vogue now. 
these are going to go up in value, no doubt about it. Quick drive-by, smart car, nah, forget those, but nice Mini, actually very nice Mini, it's nicer than the ones I saw over in uh, Alawir, that's for sure. Well, actually, I say that, but I've just noticed the bottom of the doors, but you know, I guess that's always an issue with these anyway, so, bit of work. Crown Vic, Cherokee. This is a Jaman car hook, everybody. Check it out. This is what it looks like. It's a bit quiet. A lot of place used to be here, but I can't find that. Don't know where it's gone. Maybe they've moved. Well, that's that then. I think I've had enough today of uh, trolling around uh, used car places and uh, industrial areas. Ajman Karsuk, that's where we ended up. That's what I've been going around in, by the way. The new BMW X3 M40i. Yeah, a few people have tried to buy that off me. As happened. Of course, it's not mine to sell. Otherwise, I might have been tempted. I'm sure they'd make a decent offer for it. Um, so anyway, a bit disappointing overall. Normally, when we do these things, we normally find quite a few interesting cars. But this year, it's um, not been that great. And I wonder what that says. I wonder if this is it. I wonder if that's the end of interesting or cool cars. I wonder if everybody's just gone really practical. I know it's been uh, financially difficult over the last year or so, and I wonder if all the dealers that are specializing in those sort of things have basically either shut up shop, gone out of business, or decided to just move over to selling Pajeros and Camrys and Land Cruisers and Patrols and stuff like that. So uh, I guess the, uh, the, what, the takeaway from this is that if you want a cool car, you better go out and buy one now and get one now and then keep it because um, they're all they're disappearing. Oh, I oh, forgot oh. to say, do of course please follow us on MotoringMe.com and all the social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. If you're on YouTube, please do like, share and subscribe. And while you're at it, why not follow me as well? I put a lot of crazy stuff up on uh, Instagram. I'll see you there.